Hey everyone, James, TFB TV just landed in Prague. I'm on my way to the CZ factory, so if you have any content you want to see from CZ, make sure to leave a comment or hell, shoot me an email if you want. I alluded to a little bit of a secret in my last bullpup video about the 300 blackout AUG, and it turns out it's coming. Oh my God. I've gotten to shoot it. It is awesome. Hopefully it'll be here soon. It's a little tricky. Wow. Wow, dude. Because of how subsonics are all over the map for 300 blackout in the United States, meaning that Steyr is having to do a lot of testing to make sure that it's ready to go to market. So that's something that I want everyone to understand Steyr says they don't want to release it until the thing's ready. But with that all said, I'll shut up now. Here's the video. Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV here with my favorite bullpup, the AUG, or as I call it, the AUG, because I'm a dumb hick. I'm also here with my favorite AUG enthusiast. Thank you. Expert even. I've heard people accuse you of being an AUG expert. Oh, Brian Marshall of the Shire Academy. Thank Dude, you, it's always an honor to have you yeah, on the program. Yeah, One of here. the most knowledgeable individuals that I know, not just about the AUG, but guns in general. So it's a treat. And you're also, you're, you're very pleasant. Yeah, well, uh, thank you, Jay. To deal with, yeah. in, in appearance and demeanor. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be here. Glad, glad to make the trip down to his shop. Yeah, and I am glad you're here because we're talking about something that I have been waiting on for a long time, and I know a lot of people out there have two we have the aug in 300 blackout we have an aug in 300 blackout tell me all about it <laughs> and if you just say it's an aug in 300 blackout I'm gonna be well pissed. the thing that has always been awesome about the aug is modularity yeah but we didn't always have all the cool modular parts to make it modular. But mm. if you've noticed, Steyr in 2023... And you mean we, like USA. USA, yeah, right? yeah. But Steyr in 2023 has been going to town. We, we're cranking out 14 oh, yeah. and a half inch barrels. We're cranking out 24 inch barrels. Everybody's, well, what's next? Well, what's next is 300 blackout barrels. Mm. Because the cool thing about AUG modularity or AUG modularity is being able to pop that barrel off and pop in the next barrel. If you want to go Five long, seconds. if you want to go yeah. short, if you want to change calibers, which is what we've always wanted to be able to do, is get 300, get 9 millimeter back, get some other calibers going, and we're knocking out 300s in Alabama now. So, 300 blackout barrel, how did this happen? Was this a conversation you guys had with the mothership? And you said, look, this would be a good idea. Because yeah. you're making them here, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so way back when 300 hit the market, I mean, I had conversations with my friends at AAC, and we were talking, well, how do we do it in, in AUGs? I mean, everybody's mm -hmm. doing it in ARs, and well, you know, the gas system, we're sort of limited as to where we can put a gas system on an AUG. So the guys, once we got the bullets approved for CIP in Europe, Austrian engineers went to work, some, Special police groups over there in Austria started asking for, hey, we can shoot 110 grain, you know, supersonics, and maybe we can shoot subs. Figure out how to do it. So, uh, engineering marvels of the Austrians, you know, to get perfection, it takes time. Uh, they went to work, and we've got uh, this is the gun that they're making for uh, that Austrian uh, special police unit, and we've got one now. Uh, we've basically got the plans to make the barrels, make the gas system, which is different from the standard AUG gas system. It's got some other settings, but uh, yeah. We're, That's a good segue. We're rolling 300. Tell me about the gas system. I mean, obviously the barrel, yeah. you've got a, basically a, a 7.62-ish sure. like size barrel, 30 cal size barrel. Right, we'll so we got the 30 cal barrel. We had to make the gas, the chamber for the gas piston bigger. Um, as we know, most of the inner, you know, most of the burn time on 300 blackout is happening in nine inches. It was built for pistol right. cal systems on ARs. How do you make that work if you can't shorten it because it's already a bull pup and we've got to work around mm -hmm. that? So we've got this sucker free flowing in as much gas when we go to, mm -hmm. to subsonics into the piston system. It's got four settings for supersonic, which on standard AUG is two, you know, normal and adverse. Right. 
we've got normal adverse adverser -er and <laughs> super duper adverser -er. <laughs> so uh -huh. uh, if it's freezing cold and you know tundras or whatever so that's four setting but we have an lv setting low uh -huh. velocity that's uh -huh. for the subs and we kept the off setting, uh -huh. so you can straight pull repeater and make this thing into a super, super quiet, quiet. Bolt gun. Yeah, like a bolt yeah, action. Exactly. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah. All right, so we've got the basically um, your your off. One right. th yeah off. Then you've got your uh, your setting for like your supersonics. There's uh, four whatever. settings for supers. There are four separate settings for supers. Correct. Okay. Why why would I need that many settings for supers? Well, here we don't. I mean, you know, mm. the AUG comes uh, because it's built as a military gun. It comes with that ability to have that adverse setting, right? You're in the Alps. It's freezing cold. You haven't cleaned the gun for right. a month. You've been, you know, fighting off waves of zombies or whatever, and the gun needs to keep running, and you can only shoot steel case Russian ammo at this point. Sure. Adverse will punch through whatever the garbage is and keep the AUG running. Right. Most folks are fine just running their guns in normal 99% mm -hmm. of the time. <clears throat> With all the different bullet weights that we look at in supers and you know, just giving it that extra range of capability, they added these extra cold weather and extra dirty settings to let the gun start to run. Of course, the gun's gonna be suppressed more with having that capability of, of shooting the subs. It's gonna get dirtier in there and maybe you wanna switch to a position two or a position three or... There's whatever. no real drawback for, for having more settings yeah, here. It's, I mean, it's, it's not that hard to, to yeah. adjust, right? Can you give us a little demo? Yeah, so it's it? gonna be slightly different than the old system. You're gonna use, instead of on the old, uh, with, the, with the 5.56, we were using the stock pin but we're using the, the tail end of the brass now. And instead of a pull, it's a push. On the gas system, you know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a piece of brass. It's gonna pop in there like that. We're gonna pull down and then we can rotate to the different positions. We've got the same little pictograms as before with full one dot. Now it has two dots. There's a three dot mm -hmm. position. There's a four dot position for the four at, you know, uh, supersonic settings. LV is gonna be our low velocity setting and then uh, that would be my subsonic. That's your right? subsonic, right? And then off. And we put, you know, now the now the gas plug has a nice little arrow on it. We used to sort of have to guess, like, based on where the top of it was mm -hmm. for, for flat. But now there's an arrow that shows mm -hmm. you exactly which setting. I need pictures. This is very helpful for it me. Helps. It yeah, helps. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. You know, we're still, uh, you know, excited about being able to, you know, run, you know, all the different uh, waffle mags, run P mags, run you know, the Aus mags from Magpul. Uh, Lancers are what the, you know, special police over in Austria are using. They're liking those Interesting. mags. okay. So, because uh, this gun's set up, uh, this is a NATO stock um, gun, which the other thing that, you know, we haven't seen in the US is a bolt release mm -hmm. on NATO stocked guns. So this gives us the bolt release capability. that was before absent, makes those reloads a little bit easier, makes some of the malfunction clearances easier. The AUG is well known for being a reliable platform. Short stroke piston operating system, extremely durable, extremely yeah. reliable. Yeah. When you have this increased back pressure added by the suppressor and you guys are flinging everything you got at it, like you said, wide open right. gas port and yeah. subsonic, is that going to affect my reliability? Is this gun gonna get dirty? How is the performance different from the 300 Blackout versus the 5.56 purely in terms of operation of the gun? Oh, sure. Well, you know, 5.56, it's all supersonic. Uh, so running it suppressed, you know, we recommend folks run the suppressor plug. Essentially on the 300, it is a suppressor plug. It has all the same settings that we would have on a, a, a suppressed supersonic 5.56 gun. Um, that would probably be the first thing. The second thing is, is with 300 blackout, obviously in supersonic, you know, you're, you're pushing plenty of heat down the barrel, so the reliability of the gun is, you know, spot on. As most AR-15 style 300 blackout folks will tell you, that when you start running certain cans and certain weights and certain, you know, bullet designs in 300, especially in sub, you may have to pick and choose between, you know, certain, you know, uh, weights or, or bullet designs that mm -hmm. may or may not cause issues with the gun. Mm -hmm. In our testing, you know, so far what I've been able to do running the 220s and the 208s, um, it ran fine for me. So, mm -hmm. um, and the factory's, you know, still continuing to test it domestically to make sure that we can get 
the reliability that folks are going to expect out of their subsonic gun too. Right, and I wanted to ask about that as well, testing. You guys mm -hmm. have been doing quite a bit of it. I mean, you and I have talked about this project sure. yeah. uh, for quite a while. Yeah. And you guys have been testing this gun in Alabama for right. uh, for some time, right? Yeah. yeah. How long? Tell me about it. Oh, uh, it's been a couple. I mean, we finally just started turning barrels within the last couple of weeks. I mean, the gun's been in Austria as a 300 blackout for several years, mm -hmm. uh, but us being able to mess with it on the American side of the of the of the ocean and start seeing what works for our consumers over here, uh, that's been you know just the last few weeks. Why is that? such a big issue. I mean, I, I would assume if this works with 300 blackout in Europe, it's going to work with 300 blackout in the United States. But what's the difference? We got to be sure. Mm -hmm. You know, sure. and, and the thing is, is, is most of, you know, the gun in Europe was built for NATO stocks. We know that, you know, we have huge waffle fans in the United States mm -hmm. that want to run their AUG with waffles. Mm -hmm. um, I've tested it with the, uh, um, using the, the Magpul Alsp mags. My waffle gun runs great on that. You know, the original waffles are designed for 5.56. So uh, until we can work out a couple, th you know, things there, Austria is is going to make a 300 blackout style waffle mag for the waffle magwell. Okay. Um, but for now, I've been doing it with AC Unities and doing it with um, the uh, Alsp mag. Okay. And yeah. if I've got the NATO mag version that yeah. takes the Stain Ag mag or the AR15 mm -hmm. magazine. Right. Uh, is there any sort of compatibility? Can I use just a regular 5.56 mag with 300 blackout in this? So far in my testing, you know, I would say yes. My mm -hmm. suggestion would be is you keep your mags separate. You know, um, go out and buy some Lancers and mark them. Those are got, the ones they're using in Austria. That's right? what they're using, yeah, okay. yeah. Cause it's a 300 specific magazine, right. right? You could probably make it work in 5.56s, but you know, the follower and a couple things inside, you know, just eliminate the issues is the reason folks are making 300 specific mm -hmm. mags. So get you some 300 specific mags and set those aside, mark them and, you know, and then you you continue to run your P mags or your aluminums or whatever with your 5.56, because obviously we don't want to mix up the ammunition. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, and let's, you know, let's talk about that. Yeah. Uh, Brian, let's get the demo. Show everyone yeah. how long it takes <laughs> to, well, to change the... Well, the, that's the beauty. If, if I want to go, I've got a 5.56 gun yeah. and I want to make it... 5.56 AUG. Now it's 300 black. Right. It took like six seconds. Yeah, and that's, there. and that's what we've, what we've always seen. We need this modularity because uh -huh. now if I want to switch to a 24-inch barrel, I can pop this out and put a 24 in, or if I want to go to my 14, or if I want to switch to 300 black. So what are we thinking in terms of availability? When will I be able to get the 300 blackout barrels? You don't know. My best answer is very soon. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we're turning them, we're making them, so work out a couple last-minute kinks on what we want to know reliability-wise, magazine recommendations because it's 300 blackout. We want to be able to recommend magazines that mate well with the system, you know, for the waffle guns or for the NATO guns. But we've got Austria's recommendations. They've said the Lancers. We want to also be able to find something for our waffle users here and say. Sure. And right now, like I said, I've, I've had good success out of the out of the Alsp mags. I need to do a little bit more on the AC Unities, but you know, once you know, once we figure out if that is reliable, and we're going to go shoot it here in a minute, so we'll. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll yeah, see. Right? Uh, yeah. And that's what I like about Steyr USA, the focus. You guys are very consumer-oriented. I'm mm -hmm. glad to see some changes. It seemed like for the longest time, the only thing I could ever get was like yeah. a 5.56 five, AUG, and that's yeah. it. So I'm glad to see this change. And you guys are not only bringing in new things. Like, I mean, you just released the uh, the H-bars right. and you know the 24-inch machine yeah. gun barrels, yep. which is really cool. And you guys got more stuff coming that we're going to mm -hmm. talk about yeah. in just a moment. Yeah. But uh, I I'm really thrilled about this. Now, are these going to be coming as complete guns? Are they going to be coming as barrels? Is it going to be a little bit of both? Yes, uh, both. Okay. The plan right now is both. Uh, and you know, obviously, we're sure anybody who goes out and buys a 300 is probably going to want to you know, kit up a, a cool cut set of five, five, six barrels. And, you know, this is what AUG has always been about. A modular platform, a universal gun. I mean, that's what it stands for. Something that you can modify for size, for purpose, and do all that cool stuff with. So, and it's about damn time in the United States that we got I this. wholeheartedly I mean, it's a agree. Swap. I it's wholeheartedly a agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're blaming you, Brian. This is, you're the representative fine, here, yeah. so it's your fault that this has taken so long. Um, I still love you anyways. I've been pushing but, and pushing and pushing, <laughs> but it's here. Now, I know you're going to want to kill me for this one, Brian, but I've got to ask, or otherwise these guys are going to kill me. <laughs> 
Sure. How much is a barrel going to cost whenever they do come out? We're going to be under 600, we think. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a different set of procedures to build this. Uh, the machine time, you know, they're going to come uh, 5 8 24, so no crazy metric thing that you can only gotcha. get in Europe. Yeah. So we got Glad that right. That uh, but yeah, making the pistons, making, you know, what we have to do to bore this out and do the barrel production is a little different. Uh, it's a little bit more machine time. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different machine time at the plant. So, it's so it be a little bit longer more. to make the 300 mm -hmm. black out. And I, that's not too surprising. Yeah, it does. But hey, it took this long just to get them. I, you know, I think we'll wait. I cannot wait I can. to shoot this damn thing yeah. because we are here at the Neutral Ground Gun Company at 212 Acock Street in Airby, Louisiana. I've heard people say it's the best gun range uh, yeah. in Airby, Louisiana, which is really we're the only gun range <laughs> in Airby, Louisiana. So Number we're gonna one. go out and shoot this, guys. Thanks for coming along with us. Yeah. Stay tuned, we're bringing you more because we got all kinds of new stuff coming from Steyr.